May be the queen of television talk, but even royalty can be called to court. Oprah Winfrey's in Texas facing a federal lawsuit claiming defamation of the American beef. An Amarillo cattle feeder sued her and vegetarian activist Howard Lyman after a show on which Lyman suggested American beef could spread mad cow disease. At the time, Oprah, says, Oprah said that she would stop eating hamburger. The suit is seen as a test of so-called veggie libel laws. Could one remark on a television talk show carries as much impact as the lawsuit claims? Jeff Flock says in the case of Oprah Winfrey, the answer may be yes. They gather before the sun rises on an icy Chicago sidewalk, waiting to experience the phenomenon called... <laughs> Do they listen to what Oprah says? You bet. I think what she says has a lot of um, value. I always take, you know, what she says to heart. Part of the reason Oprah Winfrey is being sued for millions for allegedly disparaging the beef industry is because of the influence she has on her audience. If Jerry Springer had talked about, you know, mad cow disease, it would have zero impact. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell, uh, you know, Geraldo, et cetera, uh, limited impact. When Oprah said it, it had a big impact. Winfrey even helped revitalize this once troubled near West Side Chicago neighborhood by locating her big Harpo Studios here. But for perhaps the most powerful picture of just how much influence Oprah has, take a look at Oprah's book club. The book that I'm going to announce at the end of this show is really the most fabulous book I've ever read. If it's a book club selection, it's a winner, period. Her first one in September 1996, The Deep End of the Ocean, had 100,000 copies in print at the time. After she plugged it, three million more. Bookstores now buy copies of Oprah's book club selections without even knowing what they are. On a regular basis, she, she's responsible for more sales than any other individual. Her latest book club selection, Toni Morrison's new one, Paradise. But given Oprah's influence, you probably already knew that. I called up my lawyers. I said, get the rights to this book. <laughs> they got her the rights. She hopes to make it a film one day. But for now, Oprah Winfrey is dealing with a different set of attorneys in a place where most of the power and influence lies with the industry that is battling against her. I'm Jeff Locke, CNN, Amarillo, Texas. In the wake of Friday.